Okay, we've just about finished up here. We've got to put a lid on the top. This is our intake. We're going to load our wood here. And you can see we're about to put up our chimney. It'll give us a little bit of natural draft, but we're still going to have a fan on there to give us even more draft. This is it, though. This is going to be our solar battery our incinerator battery boiler and it it will never go above 212 degrees fahrenheit when you are normally operating it once our turbine is finished so how are you going to get this to stick we're doing the base down there Thanks, but look how flat it is. How are you going to get this to stick? We're doing the base right now. I understand that. We don't have to have it to stick up here. We're doing the base down here. Oh, that could have been. Okay, so we're mixing up our perlite and our concrete for our insulator. Looks like we need a little bit more concrete in there. Maybe a little bit. We we'll still have much of that crate. It's almost done. Let's see. So it looks like we need either a little more, a little tiny bit more concrete, or so we used a little bit of a mixture of perlite, concrete, and refractory cement. The perlite makes the mixture have really good insulation properties. So we fastened this metal screen around the outside and filled the gaps with perlite and concrete and refractory cement to make the outer casing of our boiler or our negative pressure boiler. So in order to simply transfer the heat into the boiler we wanted to zigzag the intake of the system back and forth and then we used a high density concrete to transfer the heat from the pipes to the boiler. Construction of this part of the video right now. What you're seeing is what we're doing in the video right now. And I'm sure feeling fine. So I wanted to let everybody know that this system is primarily for solar heat collection and direct transfer into electrical energy, VIA, the generator that will be attached to the turbine. Yay! Yay! Right on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a few oh, yeah. So the reason it's so cool to have no smoke coming out of your chimney is because it means everything is burning more cleanly and efficiently. And the way we achieve this is with very high temperatures. When you burn something at very high temperatures, you get a high efficiency. For instance, watch this. have a little bit of fun with uh, ramping it up and just for fun seeing how hot we can get it. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> 